This episode is sponsored by Collins Morgan. If you live in Scotland and are struggling with debt, act now. Call us or visit our website, Collins Morgan. We listen, we advise, you decide. Number one. And today's guest, we've got Joe Steele. First of all, Joe, just want to say thanks for coming on the show, mate, because I know you don't do stories or you've never told your story. So, you've uh, one of the biggest miscarriages of justice in the UK, spent 20 years for a crime you didn't commit. You've escaped four times to protest your innocence. I'm not going to sit with any questions, mate, but we'll go right back to the start of your life and where you grew up and how it all began. Mm -hmm. I was born in Canteen. I left Canteen, mate, I found it was five or something, but I was born in Tommy Campbell's. Uh, Dad's house, uh, 1961, 5th of September, and for there, I only remember a wee bit of canteen when I was young, but for there, we moved to Gathamo, and I've been up there 50 odd years. Gathamo knew everybody in his lap, and, and through life, done my pro schools and all the rest of it, through my brother, my family. I'll go there for years anyway, mm. and school for primary school all the way through, you'll end up peer leader brass for years ago, even I went to pro schools, like you go to peer leader brass and your dad. Never I forgot that, but I ended up there, 14 or something. Because you've got a big family, your family are well connected, your dad was well connected, pals with the craze, um, your brothers as well. What was it, What age were you when you first went in a proof school? Proof school, uh, I met a lot of school, I think it was 10, 11. Uh, there, went for their children's panels, all that nonsense, and then I think it was 13, 14 when I went to a proof school, mm -hmm. St Andrews, a proof school in Hillsborough. And that's when it all started. Right. When did you start getting into the heavier stuff? I went to, I was in the St Andrews about what, nine months and I went to run. Uh, then I get back in home weaves and things like that. And I'm back next six or nine months later with Bully Love and broke into the proof school and got a moor. So the three's me back and broke into the proof school. And as we got up the road with the van and all the stuff in and that, the Minister of Defence police came and knocked us off the road. So we jumped here a wee wall, I thought we all got away, we jumped here a wall mm -hmm. and I went into the, the old cell block and shut the doors in the winter and it was cold and snowy so I went into the cell block anyway. Fell asleep, I woke up the next morning and somebody shake me, it was a weed maester. He went, who the fuck are you mm -hmm. kidding? I said, it's me, Joe Steele, I've gave myself up, mm -hmm. gave yourself up, fuck all, I said, the whole man's the defence, I'll do that for you. <laughs> so, he gave me a, wee, he gave me a choice, he admitted to Brent and Ed Prince School and Angel, mm -hmm. so, and I'll bring you back, I'll take you back. But I was mere fear of the fucking big belt he had kind of thing. So I went, nah, fuck up. So I said, nah, gave myself up and that's it. Gave me a chance for a pause. Come on, I said, I'll take it. I said, nah, I never done it. That was it for there. I went to court, right up to the young offenders. I was 15. I was the youngest guy in Scotland at the time we go there, got pro school. Right in with big hairy ass guys, not with bears, no. Mm. But it was a wake up call. And for there, it was a CYP I'd done, convicted young person. So when I get my two years of pro school, because I didn't serve there, I served in the young offenders. Mm -hmm. So, for there I ended up in Boston and things like that. How, when you were sick, did you ever escape? Try and escape? Because I know Johnny boys escaped for everywhere he's been. Mm -hmm. When you try and escape for the approved schools or at the start? I've done it. I've escaped for mm -hmm. a lot of schools a few times, your approved schools. You know, what I could have went for Boston and things like that, no. But then I would do my time ever. Escape for, when I escaped for prison, it was a different ball game. I was, I was desperate you really to prove my innocence, can I? Mm -hmm. How bit. bad were the beatings in the approved schools then? What, the teachers or the boys? Aye, <laughs> <laughs> both. Nah, uh, well, let's go. Uh, St Andrews was a good approved school there enough, and there was the face and things like anybody else, but nah, I never seen any of the teachers, nah, they were all decent. Were they? Nah, they were all good, nah. My dad was one of the free cakes anyway, and he asked my fucking boys, all right, you get down to them, because he'd done all that in his day approved schools, why mm. was, and he knew the way they were. Were they scared of your dad? Were they? Aye, he was notorious, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, aye, a lot of them had respect for Minority, you know. Mm -hmm. He did have a lot of respect. That's so what I used to get, you and his boy, and I did go to Peter Eden now. You and his boy, and things like that, he had a lot of respect, mm -hmm. you know, but my dad was respectful, you know. We had people that knew that, you know what I mean? Prison or something. One year, but obviously the biggest case was the the Doyle family getting murdered um, with the fire. When that started, when you first heard that story, where were you? Aye, when you're the fire. I was in my, my man, my granny, my granny was blind, we moved into a house uh -huh. in uh, Craig Locker Street. 
So it was the sixteenth of April, and that was the Tom Cooper. I know we're all talking about he died in stays and that. I had the flu and I was no well anyway, and the poles had done my ribs, so I couldn't breathe. Can kind of I? So I stayed in. It was a summer, can kind of, I? April, and I stayed in. And my old granny had that a VH radio thing. She listened to the poles on it, and it came out of the radio. A uh, fire in Bank End Street. Uh, occupants trapped. And I said to my wee mother, where's Bank End Street? She went, oh, uh, Rakez, I'll cry now, son. And I tell her about the fire. And I always remember my wee granny going, oh, God bless us and save us. You could actually hear a fire break again by. And that was the first time I'd ever heard the Bank End Street or anything like my life. When did you get the jail? How long after it? Yeah, uh, I'm the 60th of April, 1st of June, A4. And that was if, was that a shock, obviously a shock to your system? Well, uh, people were going about the scheme going like that. The polls were asking us about the fire and questions about you know. But see, because I never done anything, you're shit, I mean, I never ever thought I'd get charged with such murders. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Never. Never in years. What was the experience going through that court case at the start, Joe? It was horrendous. It was fucking. To be accused, I've got, I've got kids, mm -hmm. grandmas and that. And to be accused, my dad had a fucking murder, and he was alive. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'd done that. So. It must have been a, t a tough thing, especially when you get the guilty verdict. And we've spoken about it uh, with TC on before about uh, Mrs Doyle in the court and the greetings and the screams and that must have played a part oh, in your mindset. I mean, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. fucking, and Tommy, Tommy's like a jack lad, a gallows kind of gangster. He wasn't any of that crap, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Fucking talks and who's burning ways, you know what I mean? But the first kind of why and he kind of done his own. Because there's a lot, of, a lot of the police, a lot of made up stories, a lot of fakeness, a lot of evidence getting tampered with and stuff yeah. like that. And... Um, I think a lot of the police who did it committed suicide as well. Nah, Is that true? Yeah, not the walk, not the fall. He committed suicide. Allegedly left a note, his guilt and all that. And his wife or brother allegedly is a police officer and she go out and destroy that. Whether it's true or no, but I was the rumours all going by in. But he never get named not the fall for them. When you st the biggest fight of your life, when you st you've escaped four times to protest your innocence, the first time you escaped, where, how did you get out? What jail were you in? I was in I was in Perth at that time. Like, my mum was no well, so I mango uh, behaved on that noise to get a home leave. And my mum couldn't travel kind of thing. And I went out to visit my mum and I went on the roof. My mum, that was the first time I was in uh, A9 in your farm up. And the whole scheme came out, it was great. The whole, I loved it, the whole scheme came out. For the pub, no, I had beers, it was like I had beer, and I had a wagon, man. I did that. And the polls were everywhere, and mm -hmm. I wouldn't come down. But I enjoyed mm -hmm. the things like that. Mm -hmm. and then, then I went, fuck this, I'm fighting the rest of my life. You know what I mean? They couldn't do nothing to me. Mm -hmm. So for them, it was a, every, I destroyed a lot, destroy. I mean, they couldn't do nothing. Well, me and I said, I was all top of the time anyway. Is that just anger, frustration? Aye. Anger, hot, and fucking reading the papers with our ice cream cars and monsters and that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. but, and to be fair, we never had a problem in the jail. Never, in all my sense, me or Tommy. No, we were a prisoner, things like that. Never. So. I mean. But that just shows you the sign that people, you know yourself, everybody, the, everybody in there knows the information. I well, I mean, I met a lot of good people in prison. I met some new, I was innocent, but they were no daft them when they got a bit of a gun. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, how did the screws keep, how did they the cope in there? Hard. No, I mean, I've done a lot of skills and all that, and they beat up a lot of fucking things. My, my, my wrist broke and odds and ends, my nose and things like that. But that's part and parcel. If you're going to know fucking a screw, you've got to take it back. Mm -hmm. But in the eight days, they've been in the jail, you know, they, and I Peter had a roll about. I was a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. I mean, you disgrace yourself in my jail room. I know. Mm. You had a lot, I spent a lot of time solitary confinement as well, didn't you? Yeah, I got years out. Just yeah, in a room yourself? Yeah, I was getting passed about every cell block, every jail, it'd be the cell block for three, four, nine months, sometimes two years at a time. Were you chained to a bed? Then? I got chained, well, I'm telling that story, I got chained to a bed a couple of times, but I was covering crap and every time the door opened, mm -hmm. they were getting hot bit. Hot with shite. It was either a fucking chain. It's been up. <laughs> but he's had it. It's been up here. Threw it back all the fucking time. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? They were daft on us. The time when you, you you escaped and you glued yourself to Buckingham Palace fence, did you go out and appeal? Aye, yeah, after 12, 12? Yeah. Aye, we went out and appeal. Uh -huh. yeah, I was the worst thing. Fucking arms. I was getting back here. I was worse than getting the sense. Mm -hmm. In my heart, I, I kind of I knew. I, I always thought I'd get back because... There's no way they fucking done everything to keep us in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? All the strokes of Paul fucking. But I, I don't know, I generally thought I had a hang where I would get back. But in my heart, I was hoping I was not You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I fucking did that, Liz. That broke me. You so when they let you after the 12 year, how long were you out for when you get took back? A year. The 12, 13 months. How what evidence did they get to take you back? 
the lawyer John Carroll, who done a lot for us here, I remember him saying at the time, some went rang and we should have got out that time. We were meant to get out that time. But two judges, to one and whatever, for whatever it was going to be, I know my heart what happened that time, to be honest. Uh, the PF in my trial, right, against us at Ice Cream Wars, was at, by that time a high court judge. And, and, and he was in the appeal court when we were there for our appeal. And I don't give a fuck when they said it was all pals. Like, he was up in the gallery as far as we were concerned, me and Tommy. And it was like, no, a tic tac. But they kept looking up, the three judges kept looking up at him. You know what I mean? Lord Marnock. Mm-hmm. And I look at him, in my heart, my heart so I'm convinced. We got knocked back because he was upstairs. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What evidence did they have against you at the start? What was the, what was the main evidence you had? That a witness, a guy says, was it, what was the evidence against you? When I get convicted, it was on a, a hearsay evidence and a police mm-hmm. verbal. The police, they heard it in a pub? And I, this, an old guy, he was, this, this old guy, his boy was charged with selling drugs. And when they get caught, mm-hmm. he was done by all sorts. He went into Berlin and he got refused bail. All of a sudden there's a fire and people are dead. And his dad's a witness, he said he was in a pub and he heard the car. guy's in a wheelchair, can he get in a pub? And even the barman said, I'd never been in. So his deal was he was in a pub, he said they had a conversation about killing the doyles and all this nonsense. I mean, one of them were gangs of thugs with this, and I remember in a pub were fucking dafties. Told me, they never been in a pub, never been in a pub. The Gary had told me, I ran in a body together, and certainly not with him, and certainly no conversation. But the deal was, his boy ended up getting in, maybe when he went and tried, his boy went out that day, charges dropped. He was up for a, a charge himself, was he not for a robbery? Who, uh, Blub? Aye, the guy who had the verbal evidence against his, or the guy who heard his saying it. Did he know, was he know, the guy had his charge dropped, did he know, was it a robbery uh, he was he, up for? He was, up, he, drug, he was on a drug charge, I think he was oh, up was for. Uh, and as I say, he got knocked back for bail, I think he'd been done a few times. And it wasn't the pennies, you hmm. know what I mean? Uh, and the old guy, man, fucking, why he came out with that and made up, that's why I think he made a deal for his boy. I'd never spoke to him, I didn't say eyes on him. I knew who he was because I stayed up there. But that was it. I broke, but he's never been in my company in a pub. How did, they, how did they know your alibi? How did that know stick? I'm in bed in my own mother's house. My mother, who's half deaf, my granny's totally blind. And my uncle Billy, who was in the fucking previous, but we can bet since left for this table. It's not much an alibi, but mm-hmm. I tell the truth. So did my family. And that will get put to the side because it's family. I could have been in seat morning, James. I could have been in that room with three nuns, and I still get convicted. Mm-hmm. That's the truth. Just had it out for you, just they needed to get somebody for it. It was all the hatred and oil appear and I say to myself, I said, burn the fuckers have done it. Never in the moment you think I was going to be doing time for it. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, it was a horrendous case. When they, obviously, we touch on it again, the time you escaped from Buckingham Palace, uh, the jail and honcuffed yourself and glued yourself to Buckingham Palace fence, where did you escape from then? Yeah, Salton. Salton. Uh, John, I'm going to see us now. He came up, he done me proud of brass. A lot of people done his proud protest and mm-hmm. illness and, and a hand in that. I mean, I've been out of business for John, boy, mm-hmm. and brass. You know what I mean? Is that the one you can throw the football pitch? Aye. So I was watching up for a windy. So Johnny Boy, he's I was, I can see him at the side. Aye, but Johnny Boy, but he didn't know that. In Stockton, he's coming to pick you up, so he's aye. cut a hole at the fence at the football pitch. Aye. But there's sirens. Aye, because the club get broken. Aye, eh? and it's they've fucked off. Aye, they thought it was for them. And you've come through aye, and escaped. I've but they've the time uh-huh. that was in that lorry. I think that fucking my thing is sent through. But <laughs> I know we was James Caesar jumped in it, mm-hmm. and I'm driving like it was a morbid. I blew lights right over us and mm-hmm. screaming. And I was feeling it for the driver now. I knew him for school, a nice guy, I knew him for school. And I went, listen, I was on top, I used to work in the gardens now, I'll be alright. And I could get outside with the screws and that, no. At one point, I said, so I'll say, I recognise he's for the scheme, and he's been up here a few times, I just jumped in the other wagon. Mm-hmm. He went, right, fair enough, and he's pulled in to stop for them. And they've come fucking right round. They were going to the airport or something, they came right round and right on. You know what I mean? My guy was a bag and that's what but I was happy, at least I get out, mm-hmm. and I still get a publicity, because that's all I'd done that for. How long did it take you to plan the escape for Stockton? <laughs> a week. I was kidding on it, I see the coppers that came to get me in London. They brought me back, and they went, you're more than usual. They said, there's somebody not happy. I went, who are the governor? He went, no, and he, he said, a reporter. A, a reporter was to meet me down there, and fucking end up betraying us, and nearly got me caught in eight or four, mm-hmm. but anyway. Uh, he said, uh, he'll be angry that was a guy. Back to... I forget where I was there, I'm fucking stressed out with the name of it. Yeah. Where was I there, James? I say that, you know, when I say that, was you on a boy? Uh, when you were driving, when he was driving, the police still said there was a rep- reporter waiting for you. Aye, but he says, he, that was a moment, the guy's name, and he was, he phoned me up and he said, I'll meet you and I'll do this. But he'd done a, a crank bike story in the mm-hmm. Times front page, and I think we saw a fell for mm-hmm. it. 
And when I went there to get a pass case and I was on at the cop, I said to him, Are you Joe Steele? The fuck did you know that? He said, You're meant to be here yesterday. And that's where the cop on the motor tell us. I thought he was referring to the governor. Then he went, But you've been born anyway when you get back with the governor. I said, Well, I said, I'll be there in a week. I was only kidding. I said, I'll be fucking in another week. He said, I said, I'll be here in a week. I'll ask you if I get him. I was only kidding. Jack Ladd and up and that. Fucking week to the day I was out. So see, when I went, went for my trial, I know the big cop had broke me up. One day I walked by and he was laughing. So I said, You're only fucking kidding. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, so you, when you broke out and. What's the story about when you were on the fences at Buckingham Palace? Did was did the Queen come to the window? Aye, I've got a photo that somewhere. I gave that to somebody. It's like a story when the copper guy, the guy in the suit, came down mm-hmm. and he said to her, she wants to know what's about to the other guy at the desk and that. And I'm shouting, tell her I'm fucking innocent. All well, right, I end up writing her a letter and all that. No, <laughs> I get one back, but for the Queen. Aye, well, whoever it writes, uh-huh. can I know what I mean? What did it say? See, it was I can't remember. Uh-huh. I remember kid once saying I was doing the steel of gates. No, mm-hmm. I know when I was writing things like that, uh-huh. but. I, I go on ice layer, I don't know if it's still about. Yeah. How long did you stay honk off to the fence for, the gates? It was a scorching summer day, about four hours, five hours. Crowds gather? Oh, I want to see a chance, so I take four years now. <laughs> they blocked off, we had past days, and we had five mm-hmm. years now. Yeah, and they're all going by, taking four years. And they, were, they wanted to try glitter and all daft things to get up, and I suppose one of the girls used to be, I've got nail varnish removal, do you want me to try that? I was fucking melting by this time, I had a letter to go now. And I said, I so she put out when it was a nail man. So bang, my ones came away. That was it. That was a good and that day. was the plan to go down there. Were you going to ever see when you came out when you escaped for Sock Team? You ever no going to do the protest and just fuck off? No, I never gave that a thought, man. Kidding. No, I came out of there for my, mm-hmm. for my family. For your freedom. Because if you run, then it's like sign the guilty conscience as well, isn't it? That's why I went back the first time early. Because I knew I'd keep protesting, keep escaping and all that. No, I mean, so I went back the first time early. Uh, so that. They would know that. I mean, I was not to run away or fucking enjoy myself. I just wanted to draw attention to my case. What was the media response when you'd done the Buckingham Palace thing? They were good, actually. Was it For UK? Was, was it worldwide? It was national, mm-hmm. and was like that. but they slaughtered me at the beginning. I know they did with every big case, things like that. That's fine. But nobody ever gave a fucking thought or ever said for one minute, maybe the boys are innocent. Mm-hmm. Especially if, if you'd have been at my trial and you see that, you'd have been convicted. In this day and age, no. If all the evidence they bring ahead, even all the stuff I couldn't get into court, they brought to court, they knew we wouldn't even go in front of a jury because there was nothing there, nothing. Mm. So 18 years you eventually spent, when you eventually get the not, ver- not guilty verdict, how were you that day? Were you, did you know you were getting it? Was there a run-up oh, to it or did no, it just happen on that day? But we actually got the full not Aye. guilty. We went back after the, 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 the bail we lost and we came back up. I was in Peter Heed and the governor came in to me and he said, I was doing dirty protests, only me up there at the time, dirty protests and throwing things and all that thing, mate, trying. I was wanting back down the way to, was my family pair, things like that, get put up there through the key mm-hmm. and the escape ping and pair. And uh, the governor came in one day after being weighed and treating as badly as and being slayed and shutting doors and you know, getting the phone. He came in one day and he went, hey, listen, I've had the, the home office and that on the phone. Hey, you're going to be, somebody did with your appeal, it says you're going to get referred back to the appeal. Going to do my wee feel, going to speak to the press. You know what I mean? Cover need to don't shit. I stuck in a cell block, fucking 300 miles away from my family, and going to know, talk to the press. I went, no bother. Give me your word. I said, aye. He let me phone my lawyer, John Carroll. And I, I, when I said, Mr. Carroll, I said, ah, that's right, Joe, you can back to appeal court. Uh, here's James Freeman for the Herald, man, he talked to you, and he'll have it, because I gave us my word, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But uh, sure, that was that. And after that, it couldn't have been any nicer, and period anyway. We had me, Jimmy Boyle. No, I met Jim a couple of times. He was uh-huh. through our protests, we're campaigning. Was that a dirty protest? He's, he's been at the gates and everything. Mm-hmm. Him and he's, he's Sarah. Uh-huh. Yeah, they done as well. they done well by me. What was the, the other time as well? Did you escape into Berlin? No, I went up the piling when I gave uh-huh. myself up. What was that story? That's when I, I went back here again, uh, done an hour on her. And uh, I went down to uh, my pal's house in a minute, so it's a couple of times. A couple of days and I felt pains. I actually thought I had appendix or something was going to bust, it was that much acne, that was the first couple of days, stayed there, before I was dying, I was actually crawling up the stairs to chop up on his door, so I went to get my pals, mm-hmm. and they bought up to keep me, and they were nabbed in, crawled up the stairs and chopped the door, and they was in, lay there, and then I came back down, and that was the day I decided to get back and keep myself up, so I decided, I did it quite quick, as I said, I thought something inside me was wrong, mm-hmm. and I think it was Johnny Boy again, came up with a piling, and he's trying to get me fucking murdered at Cyber, wasn't he? <laughs> but I enjoy, to be fair, I was doing it to fight my life and protest to get him and clear my name. I enjoyed all that, to be honest, though. It, it, 
Ja, ehrlich, wenn einer ist, dann ist ein Idee, dann kann ich noch nicht mhm. los. Mhm. So, look, talk for the years, and whatever. No one thing you lose, guy next, he's got a date. He can't get any more of him, I think he's two shits. I was going to talk for a month, and I'd done it my way. Did you have a date or anything, Johnny? No. Uh, Joe, did you have anything? No. No date, yeah, was it just life? Life, aye. Tommy, Tommy's wreck was 20 years, I think. Uh, I know Tommy went to employer, but at the end of the day, I could have done me on Tommy's wreck. Because mm-hmm. I'd either died in the jail, or get free one or other. It was, one, it was never taking parole, never. And I'd been offered it to get out parole. Just to keep fighting for your innocence and right. fighting for... Says, I've had a tape pro my sense, but I started that day when people were saying he's guilty. Okay, I was never coming down here, I cleared my name. Did they try and get you a deal to say, right, plead to admit your guilt and then we'll I let you go? I don't know that nonsense, no, I mean, say there, you think, mate. I, see, I used to say that, fuck you, get you somebody's guilty. How uh, many no. years were you in your sentence when they says that? I was just, nearly 12, just before they gave us the first bail. I think they tried that ammo, I'd maybe jumped it. And you. So if you signed that, that was you. Right. So you're willing to go back for an extra six years of your life to six, ten, twenty. I'm gonna get shot at them and back to clear my name. I was never getting out. I take know. some bottle of that, Joe. Ah, it's no balls, you. The end of the day, you've been accused of sex. Aye. Others, a kid. Mm-hmm. Mark Harner, baby. I know every name in that file. Mm-hmm. It's stuck with me all my life. And it will I die. You know what I mean? And I put him a lot. I have a lot. Main family. I could have been my family. Some sick fucker. Mm-hmm. Nah, I couldn't live with it. And the scary thing is, as well, they've never had any justice. They've thro- never had they'll any closure. They'll never get it. They'll never get mm-hmm. it. They're deed now, and they're never going to get any justice. But no, I was doing it pause. I was only ever just too fucking eager to get a body. Nah, sad. There will never be any justice now. Is that? Do you? How is? You, how's your relationship with the police now? How do they treat you? Is, is are they alright? Or I've never you, done it. I've never been. I've never been, I've never been, I've never been I've hardly spoke to a police like from my boy. I've never been pulled for silly things. I've not been a cop, so my days are they're over, man. I just want to have fucking have a life I've got left. I'll do it in my ways and my grandmates. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, uh, everything's a mindset, and always, every show I speak about, everything's a mind. How was how was, how was, was your family and that? Was fighting for your cause as well when you were in? How did that it's affect right, everybody? Oh, nearly eight years of age, travelling 300 miles up and down to Peter Eden, protesting, hail rain or snow, you know what I mean? Nah, it's no nice. My, ma- my family came through to Perth one day, come through for a visit. All the protesters to pay off, and they uh, sitting already waiting on my visit. No one had left to come up, so the visits are two o'clock. Never get a visit, could they get on the phone or nothing? Not my peer, 12 o'clock. The screw comes up. I heard singing, you know, I thought I was dreaming. The screw came up, this is screw came up my door. He went, Joe, that's your ma. Winner's night, fucking blizzards. That's your ma, and all your protesters at the gate. They're all right, apart from the cold and a sore voice singing and that. The coppers had brought them up in an escort, and for one in a day, they blocked out more ways saying a lot of jack knives and my fucking pals and family and friends couldn't get that thing me till midnight. You know what I mean? That's how desperate they are. Mm-hmm. To keep up with the page of the camera, the crews were all there, TV crews and whatever, and they gave up. Because there is a lot of cover there is a lot of cover up where there's a lot of like I say, miscarried justice show and the pain and the misery it's caused, not just your, your own family, but other families, everything has a ripple effect and ruined a lot, hell of a lot of people. Aye. Hell of a lot of people where they be Witnesses and fucking people didn't tell lies. A lot, a lot of people get ruined with that. Did you ever think about just taking your own life or just calling it quits and going, fuck this, I don't deserve this? Or there must I have didn't been... deserve it. I didn't deserve it, but my own life, I, at times you're down and you're, you're, you're hitting rock bottom and that, but I think I didn't mean to even. I, I wanted to clear my name at all mm-hmm. costs, my family. Leave me, I couldn't, I fucking couldn't, I couldn't win a marriage with a chance and that. And it was just forcing a lot of people, a lot of cons, a lot of pals, all decent people I'd met. Stood by me and believed us. You know what I mean? Because for day one, for the day we even in the prison, we let them know we were innocent and we only fucking get up. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's how they passed us about everywhere, split us up. Me and Tommy couldn't get the same jail in, in 13 years. You know what I mean? When they put us in the same jail. How many, did you meet a lot of good pals in the jail? Did yeah, you meet a lot of. Met a lot of assholes, but a lot of good people. It's like anywhere, there's assholes That's everywhere, right. Right. but you were saying That's earlier that. A lot of your pals as well committed suicide and is and is and tough in it. Period in Perth, I think it was six of them committed suicide. Rapid in a six month period. Guys doing ten years, six years. I think a lot of it was doing like woman problems, you know what I mean? Sad, but fucking six, ten years. Come on, what's worse than you've got to go to do at some point. Aye. You know what I mean? But you don't know what's in a, a, a person said when I've done that time or as we I couldn't do as we kept me going, clear my name. Mm-hmm. Just to fight it. and no gee up. And you eventually did that. So massive respect to what has to go towards you, Joe. Thanks. A lot of people, 
a lot of people help, you know what I mean? A lot of family, a lot of friends, protesters, every, the whole scheme is behind me, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That's a fucking... I mean, I haven't been watching anybody, it's not a nice thing being accused of a horrible, horrible crime, and nobody will listen to you, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Did they try and silence you? Did they try and shut I you down? Mind is away, done everything, mm -hmm. done everything, you know what I mean? Uh, the first eight, nine years was really hard. After that, I think they kind of a tippled. Some was in the right, but we'll never gain up, no, I mean, the nights mm -hmm. were then. We're all grannies, moths, and everything, fucking trapping all that way up. We're only doing that for nothing, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So it ended up, I got a bit easier and a bit better, eh, with the staff and a bit better respect to each other. They knew I wasn't doing it for nothing. They try and break you any, every, every oh, turn, they try I, and break you. I, and I, they, put, they put in the 10-man unit and all that period, a jail within a jail. You know, they... they I call your visits up, move you, and I'm glad no, because it's it was nonsense. What's a 10 man unit? What was that? Um, period, it's that. Uh, and period, uh, you know, period, is inside that jail was a big wall, and inside that was another jail. Mm -hmm. So the first jail, we're not a day with that. You know what I mean? That's where the other prisoners rank. We're in a, a second jail where nobody gets near us, and we don't see the other prisoners, nothing. It's like, basically, it's a fucking cell block, only around the boot. You know what I mean? A way for the. You're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. You don't see nobody. Because they days are not was slopping out, was, there was no, mm -hmm. do you have a telly or anything? Do you have nothing? No. Just I had a telly up there with Robert Moon. <laughs> He's one of you, about 15, 15 years before a telly was heard. Just four brick, what, just a Bible. You know what I mean? It was a, a pish pot, a Bible, uh, and your plastic mug and your cutlery. That was it. Your concrete bed and your mattress, nothing else. And that, that pish pot, 3,000 coins had used that for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Stinking smell, that was the way it was in. Well, three fucking thousand people use the same wife prints. I know. So, it was mad. I'll tell you about it. I see when I went into Berlin at the very first time when I there was a boy. They never had toilets. And everybody would tell us, big drums on the landing. No big oil drums. Mm -hmm. And you had to use your piss and shit in there. Every landing. Fuck knows you emptied it. But that's what you done with anti toilets in. You know was. That's torture, that, eh? That's torture mm -hmm. to... A lot of people went through that, but the the the, the system that way, that was the way it was back in the day, right. wasn't it? Right. Slopping out and what if can I can everybody lives in luxury now. Even in the jails, there's a lot of luxury now, Joe. You know that yourself. You still got you still. I'm not jails anymore. They're drug factories, isn't it? Uh huh. Oh, and ninety per, ninety percent of people in the jails now are mad about. No, can't handle their sentence. Like mm. a few of your pals kill herself can not handle that message right. maybe fucking about there's no hell on anybody in the night when mm -hmm. see when I was all harsh see when I left people with harsh I'd have been fucking at the tain I'd have been at the tain anything mm -hmm. it's, it's boredom that better are heeding or what, maybe lost her girlfriends or her wives are messing about her. can't see her scrambled in the jail mm -hmm. no I've got phones no I don't know why that would have been a good thing in my day phone in here and fucking you know what I mean no I'd have got much calls the system's failing in the jail you set up for failure basically aren't mm -hmm. you it's, it's all containment there, you know, it's mm -hmm. containment. Every corridor, every, there's no place in Berlin here you can go to bar the toilet, you're no on camera. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They're taking their smokes and all that, they are fucking going to do. Would you, were you in, cat, you, you must have been high category for, cat A for, cat A for, cat A for year, maybe. Were you in, who, who else were you in with any other, you must have been in with some serious figures. Well, <laughs> Yeah, I was in with a bear, Sammy Ralston, he was cracker, Sam was a good boy, you know what I mean? He keeps everybody going. Who was he? Sammy Ralston, the bear, no, no, the bear. Nah. Sam was involved in the riots and that, yeah, on the roofs and things like me. When the hostage was taming the hanger in his neck, you mm. know what I mean? He was up there. Yeah, there was a lot of catties. Robert Moon, he was, he was the longest catty that I'd came across. Like, he's still catty to this day, I fucking hope, but he should be, he's, he's catty. Yeah, Vinko Sindachik, he was a Yugoslavian hat man. Uh, a, lot, a lot of good people in the jail, very lot of good people. You know what I mean, but a lot of rats and all. It's like anything, it, Joe. Uh, it's like anything. Yeah. Did you ever get any, speak to any psychologists? Did you ever speak to anybody about the mental health or the mental no. side of what you went through and the, the mental nothing. torture? No. Because you never get any home leaves, you just get no. out you go. No. Nothing. And that was after 12 years? in prison, no. Why was that as well? Why did they, usually if you're getting out or do you get a few home leaves to get adjust back into society? No. Because we were protesting, we would never go around me or Tommy. We never go around because, uh, right along they knew if we went out, they leave, I certainly me anyway, I wasn't come back. You know what I mean? But I should have still been getting a wee chance. At, I never got a chance at an open jail or anything like that, you know what I mean? So, all well, my was all kind of grace. It was not a lot of people, but. 
I know. What was the? Have you ever any ever never ever approached you? Because I know you don't do interviews. Um, no, no. Any ever approached you about doing a, a film or a documentary to tell your story and get it out there? Uh, we were, we were out in Bale, we were offered Angel Falls come up to see me, Tommy, and that. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I know. As you say, I've done the interviews and that, and my story and that. No, uh, just it's a rent. It's a case. No, I mean. I'd have liked to just go and go on my life, mm-hmm. know what I mean? But obviously, no, I can't. I've got kids. My kids are growing up, they've got kids and that, you know what I mean? I'm getting mm-hmm. my grandson. So I'm deciding I'm going to tell my story. I think you I should. Know, I've got a story to tell. Aye. And I never brought this story, you know what I mean? It was through mm-hmm. me. So mm-hmm. before I go, I'll, I'll do it. Good. Because you know I, mean? I think you should, for anybody to get 18 years of their life away for a crime they didn't do is. Is a story that should be told. It's a story that you should be screaming for the rooftops. I know mm-hmm. a lot of people try and bury their pain and bury their past. But again, that can eventually build up to nervous breakdowns, to suicide, to... It's not too much main pain. I don't want to add to others' pain. It's mm-hmm. been through it already, whatever, but... To dig it all back I up don't, again. I, if I don't do it, and I die tomorrow, so I can't go on to do it. And no matter what, I'll see I confess to it. So I'll do it myself. Aye. You know I mean, I'll get my side there. So, no idea. When you came out, Joe, how was your life then? Was everybody at a PC? Were you trying to just knuckle down, Aye. get the head down? And exactly. How did you adjust to society? It wasn't easy. <laughs> It wasn't, it was, you end up turning to drugs. Mm-hmm. They just threw me out the door, and I was like, no, I didn't know, fucking, I'd never had money, I didn't know how to do, you know, I couldn't go on a bus, I didn't know, even with my pals, I can't work up one. You know what I mean? So, it was hard, very hard to be honest. I mean, Everybody uh, tried to get a PC and talk to you. It was a nightmare, it was, it was a nightmare, you didn't know who your pals are. You know, I know I've got my own pals, I've had to school, whatever, one or two bullies, bones, I've got my pals, but the people who were about me that time, they weren't they? They were there, they were going to pubs, ways and whatever. No telling me they had trouble. Whatever, the week before, and I said, we'll go for a pint, I'm getting the atmospheres. You know what I mean? Mm. They didn't get a fuck for me, they were all like users and mm. I'm busy. Honestly, you wouldn't know. See, boys, you know, I can wonder who would be Paul Pez went through using his name and doing this and doing mm. that. You know what I mean? And see, we get a night when you got a bizarre for them. That's. A lot, there is a lot of users out there, especially such a high profile name and coming out. Everybody. Kids on you, your pal want a PCA. You're used, aren't you? Yeah. You're, just, you're just used. I've had it for years anyway, you know. I think all my fucking family has me and my brothers. Uh, we're loyal, we're, we're, we're loyal, we're pals, whatever, but that's just, no, it's not different now. I mean, it's fucking, they don't care, they respect none, James. Mm-hmm. No, no. no morals anymore. No. No. I definitely agree with that. It's, it is, Glasgow, Glasgow's a tough city. It's a very tough city, but there's a lot of, a lot of people are fragile now. A lot of people are, Play the big man cared, but really, when it comes down to it, they're, 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 they're weak. Aye, they're, 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 they're weak. Aye. I mean, the night when they're weak, the night mm-hmm. is fucking screaming the place down. You uh-huh. know what I mean? But I don't know why I get back. I'll never get back to her. I know what I mean. I never ask for as I say. And when he was in anybody. If you been, see when you get out, have you ever been back, Joe? Did you ever been back no, since you've been out? No, of course so, it's not. No. So that's near enough 20 years you've been. Yep. I'll never go back. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've done something for my farm or my ways or whatever, that's fine. I take in a chin, but I'm fucking lying down to six murders and a kid, no, are you kidding? You've done well because any crime you've done or anything, you'd have just got whipped back in. Uh, right, so I, but I never, I, when I, before I went to prison for that, I was, I was on my pay fee, but my dad was gangs and my brother's wing. I was on my pay fee, I was only a young boy. You know I mean, I never fucking, I was there. I, I, I get that proof school for three, remember? You go to Peter, he's you'll end up with a brand. I go down for years and it didn't happen. So they, they all see my never. You know what I mean? But he did have a lot of pull in the jail. He's yeah, had um, yeah. fucking, uh, I've seen photos of uh, fireplaces yeah, yeah. and uh, cats. Yeah. Do you think everybody have cats in the jail? Or was it just no, I like, do's. cats and do's, do's and do's. fireplaces? And but, uh, I think me and Tom were well, well, well liked to that because people knew, generally that a lot of them knew we were innocent. Mm-hmm. And we didn't take nonsense, we didn't, didn't take crap, we were screws of prisoners. We never take it. But nah, they were well, 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 well liked to mother. But it wasn't easy. Mm-hmm. It wasn't easy. What's the plans for yourself now, Joe? Have you got any any plans for the future? Or is it just to knuckle down and keep back for all still? And I'm 57 now, James. I've been triple bypass now. I'm, I'm, see, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised I'm still here. The rest of the everything all that in the past. Mm-hmm. I had a massive heart attack in prison. And they came in when they opened the door and that caused my escapes. And uh, as there was, we need to be in the Calvary. Three years later, they came in with the Calvary and gave me a wee peep. I went blow into that. And I blew it. I couldn't move anywhere. Oh, you've got asthma. Fucking massive heart attack, you know what I mean? When they left you in the cell dying? Aye, uh, the next day she came in and checked my heart with a wee thing. I'm reasonably happy, she says. 
You know what I mean? It was a massive heart attack. And my lips never more blue. Do you think they would have been happy to see you did in that cell? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, well, maybe not so much the staff because they were all right, kind of thing. But the, uh, the department, uh, uh, and the covers. Uh, Bastards, aren't it? Uh, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't they're a lot of shots up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Has never been a. You ever had an apology for the, the, the police? No, one wee guy, believe it or not, was in the sheriff court. I was doing a trial with my pal, and there was a wee copper in the sheriff court, James, and he was kind of anarchy and cheeky and got away for that, he comes, no, no. And he sat down, he was talking to my pal, man. My pal, man, you know, no, I mean, man. He said, that's me, Joe Steele, and that. He said, see, I, mean, I thought he was my pal, he jumped up and he said, man, I'm sorry, and I apologise for my, my colleagues and whatever, no. Mm -hmm. But, until they end up getting 18 months, he said, what a wee guy. What the fuck? Yeah, domestic with his wife. Aye, you know, fucking, I got up on a bit. Aye, wee guy, he was, he apologising, Bob, he's, he's gone, you know what I mean? Probably put it up his head, but come on. Aye, aye. There should be, I don't apologise, there should be, even if there, some, somebody to come forward and say, look, we're sorry for putting you through that misery, not just yourself, but your family. Because it's um we'll never get it. I, know. I don't you know there's any copper. I mean, here this day, admitted that I've heard them want to tell. It was a lot of mistakes made in that case. It wasn't fucking half, and it wasn't your part. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was no no mistake, no this, no that. They fucking fitted up, blatantly fitted us up. Do you think you were were you fitted up after the fire or before it? Do you think you were? Do you think it was once it happened? No, they, they, they tried a few avenues with things like. I think it was like sectarian things, not that, didn't mm -hmm. I? And with the families, not having none, having none came out of that. And then you get this thing about uh, an ice cream war, can I know? But and a, a drug war, he got to the van, and we went, he's a 99 cone, he was going to bag of stuff. I, I never seen a fucking drug tag him out. There was never any drugs in the farm, or any ice cream van in my lifetime, that's my ways, his lives. Never. I was a post and made all these stories up. Every story that went to the, the press was the police. You know what I mean? There should be. Was there no investigation into the police, into the, the corruption with that case? There were one or two, but come on. Right. As I say, who guards the guards, who police mm -hmm. the police, the danger they were. They didn't even bring an outside force in. You know what I mean? Maybe outside of Scotland or the U, wherever no. to. Because what you did, they ended up having to open up about 30 cases. Mm -hmm. with, with Charlie Craig and Norrie Walker. Uh, what uh, happened to them? Oh, they fitted more people up in Jackson's and Taylor's. And so we're not just on the case. Mm -hmm. you, uh, the boy with the Palmer Hasty case, it was in me, Paisley. I forget his name, Ray McGilmer. Uh, the other boy, they're still, even in the stadiums, there's people in that's innocent in prison. Mm -hmm. They're not getting to fight for him. Or things like, we, we had that to wait for a year to get my case home running to my brother's group. And I remember the security screwing in Perth saying to me, oh, that green saying, why now, Joe? Why show you're innocent after four years? For the day I'm in the prison, if I'm in the governor of the port, he gave your no name and number. I never had any fucking number. I gave my name, Joseph Steele, innocent prison, sir. That's why I gave every governor. When I'm in the order room, but there's people in there, I got away with it because I didn't need a shit. And they had to tell me, but there's people in there that's innocent. Except that. They, they can't do no longer. They've only got a wee ma, I think. Like. Mm -hmm. There's one boy, young guy, look, my show, and take him with me here the year first. That boy's innocent, you'll hear about a lot about him eventually. If somebody takes up his case. What one was that, the boy when the, the wee last day? Uh, his wee girlfriend. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe Day, and the boy never done it. No, I mean, he's no way. He's maybe his wee mother still. And they'd be there. But somebody should take his case. The digger. The digger doesn't get a fucking bother. See, but they should take up. That wee boy get life. I don't know. Uh, he get life. Like, well, I go, wasn't it? Uh, that well, wee last day. He done this. He played in Havana. So I shit. He's just trying to put all the dirt on you. Mm -hmm. But was there Havana? So my dad was a Cray twins. Tommy's was this and the ice cream things that fucking and but they tell the papers I suppose they believe it. Well mud sticks what people yeah. people read what the see no, the drink. They see them black and white. Daily record reporter the sun the sun was not out when we get invited, but my fucking slaw the early years. So do you think if they in investigated your case and there was a lot of corruption with the police, mm. everybody else would have came forward. So it'd have been an outcry that no. I'm innocent, I'm innocent, everybody just be shouting, I'm innocent. Everybody in jail, any school tell any word of tell us, any prisoner in, in jail is innocent. Every one of them, they never done it, they never done it. That's you in part and part. But the dealer says, go to the door and by every day move on, whatever. Mm -hmm. But your lifers, and it's not, it's genuinely innocent, they'll never give up. Mm -hmm. If they're genuinely innocent, they'll never give up. You know what I mean? Whether it's a fucking pro or anything, if they're genuinely innocent, they'll fight it. You know what I mean? Some guys die in jail, old Dick Cooper. Yeah, hey, all life, it was accused of saying things done 30 odd years when I was in. 
and I, I believe he was innocent, died in prison. A lot of people have died. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of men have died. I've, died. I've never seen anybody fight for freedom though as much as yourself or your family. No. Do you know? Do you think if you never had your brothers or your mom in the, in the back and you'd go, no, you'd probably maybe be I'd in or you'd did or you'd right, give up? I'd have eight for you, you know, and I'm proud of everyone. I mean, don't be proud. You know, the brothers, mm -hmm. the family, like everybody. You know, I mean, the whole scheme. But as I say, not everybody's going at it. Mm -hmm. boy, my son's only got his ma, for this case, now he's only got his ma. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So, my advice, fight it. Don't tell any nonsense. Fight to your way. You shouldn't be there. Did that wee guy ever try and fight his case, though? I've seen, he's, he put, boy, put, my cell, he passed a lie detector. Oh, did he? Uh, did you just do a lie detector? I, 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 I done a lie detector. Uh, Sunday, Bill Big Marion, done me proud, my man Jim, Marion Scott. I done a lie detector on the Saturday morning. It was on the front page of the, sun, sun, uh, the mail on the Sunday, and I went to court from appeal on the Monday, and I was home. You know what I mean? How did, but why did I know gay lie detectors? Why did I know the gay lie detectors for the priests or people who work in schools for paedophiles and everybody getting a lie detector sort of got a rough idea of what they're working with or everybody in the jail, if you get a lie detector then you've got a rough idea. You can feel, you can oh, well, pass lie detectors. Lie detectors. No fucking thousand, but that's, they should give them a, I believe the lie detector. Look, I know I'm passing up for him to take, I tell the mm -hmm. guy that. But I, I believe you should give the lie detectors. They're in America. Was this yeah, in your, your 12 year, after 12 years, Joe, you got a lie detector? I, I go and bail, I mean, that, that's what, to be honest, I tried to get it a couple of times when I was on a run. And that was one I, I'd love to hang with, but, eh, uh, so a big man's got his Sunday mail, she stood by me and believed us, you know what I mean? And, rest of the See, you done the lie detector, did that go, was that in the papers, or was that out there, that you'd passed it? Well, oh, it was a front page in the Sunday mail, mm -hmm. in the middle page, and I'm all wired up with elected chair. And then I was in the court. I was in the lie detector, but that certainly helped. You know what I mean? Fucking right. There's a big difference. For the last appeal we lost. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I ended up, I broke down and I had come to the court because I was in shock. But you got out. Right. How was it feeling when you got out after the 12 year? You know, I know you says that you knew you would go back, but did you, was, you never just thought of fucking off then after the 12 year that you were out? Johnny boy, you know what he is. He's kept saying to me, You're fucking nuts, don't go by. He'd rather than he go by. And at the time, Johnny boy's clever when he comes things like mm -hmm. He's going, Don't get back. But I couldn't be annoyed with my man's dog and dogs, don't know. I couldn't have been annoyed with that. Do you know what I mean? I wanted to go. I didn't want to get back. I was enjoying it all that. And I didn't want to get back. But I knew I came out of the day that. And then you've got that farm, the dog farm, that thing. You're on the running. I couldn't hang myself. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to highlight my case. I've done it. You know what I mean? What, 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 how, what evidence did they have for you to go back, Joe, after the year? They came out, Billy Love, they were saying, Billy Love ended up, he, he was, uh, he tell lies, he didn't tell lies, he was saying, uh, then he would change his mind, no that, if a post go to him, he change his mind, whatever. And then the judges were saying, one judge was saying, let us out, can I hang? No, Billy Love has admitted to telling lies, and the two other judges, no, he didn't. But no, no, hang me, me, I don't care. Hector was up above the and hang me, and it's a pals act, honestly. That's what even Tommy thinks that. I mean, the, the Procurator of Fiscal who helped to convict us as a High Court judge, he's in that court that day, and I mean, he had a trial on. He's in that court that day, and he's seen us and he walked by, he was up there watching the case, and I was like, I genuinely had that, heart. and we were talking about it, after me and Tommy, we genuinely believe it, the old pals that fucking let him out of a row cry. Or the handshakes and... Even the, the Procurator of Fiscal, uh, Lord Reid, is on that appeal, he's the youngest uh, High Court judge in Scotland, or the UK. Uh, fucking kidding, it's old pals that, I don't know. You know, slapping guys and promoting. Look, the other callers went shot through the ranks. They couldn't catch a cold over them. Do you think a lot of people get promoted after your case? Ah, and of course they did. A lot of them, I. Keep us hush hush uh, and we'll promote you. Mm. I, I met one, one friend, a guy, uh, a pub, I was in a pub drink, and a guy came up, and he was in, but he was a the photographer guy. He was a decent old guy, and we're talking about the case. Now, I don't know what against everybody, and I'm sure Tommy does, not But when a caller comes up and says to you, we know you never done it, it's up to you, you're saying, look at then you fucking, what you're saying there is that hey, we know you never done it. You don't tell us who done it, you're going down. The kind of fucking attitude is that for six months. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We're talking about a breach of the peace. No way they're fucking us up and no way they never done it. But I'm not going out and getting justice for the family. Mm -hmm. I know you're not fucking getting angry because they couldn't catch the gold. And that time six weeks went on. And they never had them for it. And people were all going, they're not going to get them, they knew they're going to the new. So the old dirty trikes come in, pack shafts, uh, things like that, putting sellers. I mean, hairs and masks. I was the only one that never get done with hair and a mask. And my boy, oh, it was too. Well, he just said, if you are getting a, a hair sample, we want one. And for whatever reason, they didn't want 
min mamma var lika här sam på. Det var nå. Så då min mamma bara jag kan min mamma bara kan ge mig här sam på. Och så min herr då min mamma sa här nå. Nå min. Det är nu väl vad det. Ni mistakes ni accident we we fucking fight it is up lot to them. Min. Do you still have a lot of anger then Joe and a lot of yeah. regret yeah. and bitterness? Yeah. I can't my way his lives. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then as a boy, 22, and then I came out fucking up in triple bypasses, uh, heart attacks, you kid, man. You know what I mean? He was a stress, you know what I mean? Just all the stress and anxiety yeah. and the mind, uh, again, it's you know I mean? to fight for your freedom, but you've done it. And it takes a I lot of... I wish I had to tell you, I hope I had to give two of mine, my family, mm-hmm. through. I mean, I can't think. What was the story you wanted to say when we spoke earlier? The, the guy you wanted to talk about? Who's the guy? Gary, Gary Mill. Aye. That's one of the reasons I was wanting to hang on all. Gary was my pal, people, wee boys. He was an angel. Mm-hmm. And we have a right, but I'm reading. Gary's confessed to the mothers. Gary's confessed to this. So now people have found me think, oh, Gary Mill done anything, me. They think they'll concentrate on that. Gary Mill never admitted to fuck on his life, never admitted to a breach. I've been brought on if he was a boy. Hated police and all the rest of that. Never in my life times Gary Moore ever turned around and said to me, he murdered the Doyle family. He's been accused of a lot of things on his knee angel. He never fucking admitted to anybody he'd done the Doyle family, can I assure you? Was that going to put I turned my back on him. Never did Gary admit to anything. We didn't admit to a breach. Was that? I believe he'd done the Doyles. No, I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't. I wouldn't have been his pal. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? There was a lot of people throwing his name about for yeah, that. I still see it. I still see it. The guy's no, he's not here to defend himself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And believe you me, James, I wouldn't stick up for any fucking monster for that charge. I'm going to tell you what I think. Mm. I don't believe my heart. My pal done it. And I done all the 18 years beside him. Fucking danger. McGraw done it. You heard done it. And he asked the people, I know his, but I'll go to my grave with mm. well, I mean, my conscience, my mama went to a grave knowing I was innocent. I mean, but to say something, yeah, but to then this and that, to any danger, it takes it away for the real fucking killers, which mm-hmm. will never go to get anyway. Because mm-hmm. well, there was three years of your TC and the, who's the other boy you get charged? Me, me Tommy, uh, Gary, Gary, Tambi. Four? Four years. And the I mean, only reason Tam and Gary get no guilty is because they didn't get to a jury. Mm-hmm. Right? See, we did a bit of jury laws, they were getting done. Everyone, it couldn't go to a jury, was getting done. We even knew, me, Tam, me, Tam, me, who'd you think your four men was? There was a guy in the jury, the PFC, I, I think we used to find them guilty. That's not, he's writing the book, and then we can see him and pass it back to other jurors. You know what I mean? I said, that's your four men, Tam, be sure as fuck, he stands up, big old, ugly fucking ex schoolboy or whatever. Uh, ex post, it was. Uh, you have no idea. Maybe we were in that dog, maybe we'll get through being accused of fucking monsters and the whole, whole city watching a trial. You know what I mean? Holy, the world, yeah. it was a world, it was a yeah. massive case. People know they've done it, know, they, know, they know they've done it, they've got to look in the mirrors. Mm-hmm. It's their conscience, cause my conscience is clear. Uh, and thankfully, you got it clear after 18 years. And you yeah. got to, Aye. your family and your friends got to see you were an innocent man. And for coming on today and telling your story, Joe. I uh, appreciate that. Question. Thanks to Young Joe for sorting this interview. I really appreciate yeah. that because yeah. I know That's it's a touchy subject yeah. and you don't want and to. I'm not here, my boys are going to. I've got grandmas and mm-hmm. they've got sons in. There's no way uh-huh. my, my grandmas will grow up thinking that that mm-hmm. grand was a mother. No, I'll say my son. And you know that anyway. So it's um, for anybody, documentaries or books and. This is a, a story that needs to be told, and I think the world should hear it. And I think mm-hmm. it should be something that should be sh- shouted for the rooftops mm-hmm. because what you went through, you wouldn't wish that upon your worst enemy. And mm-hmm. you came through it, you came mm-hmm. through, mm-hmm. you, you came through winning. So, mm-hmm. again, Joe, thanks for coming on to tell your story, mate. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.